everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Katie and today we're going to be working in the NIV Beautiful Word Bible. We're going to be doing some coloring today. I'm thinking of making Monday's kind of strictly color along videos just to have fun together, chat, put on some music and enjoy coloring in his word together. And you don't have to color if you don't have um, an actual coloring Bible. You can do a faith coloring book or you can just um, paint and color as stickers, whatever you want to do. This is just a fun time to spend together and enjoy time in God's Word. So I'm just going to find a page to do in here. I did not pick it ahead of time, but I thought I'd pick it along with you guys and try to find something that, oh, I actually kind of like this one already that's right here. It's fun, it's really pretty. I think it goes along with, yep. Okay, so found it right away. God must have pointed me right to the verse that we needed to do today. So this is perfect. It's for Jeremiah 17, verse 7 and 8, and it says, But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in Him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes, its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. So I think that's perfect for this, this, this time and what we're going through now. We really do need to put our trust in God because He knows what's going to happen. He will protect His children and we should be like the tree and we need to have our roots planted directly in our faith and in His Word to just continually put our thoughts on Him. So I love this. It's going to be actually a perfect page for what um, materials I'm going to use today. I'm not going to use colored pencils like I did last week. I'm actually going to use these watercolor pencils, which my friend blessed me with. It's the Arteza watercolor pencils, and I love these. I've used them a few times, but I have not used them on this channel yet. So I'm very excited to show you guys. They work great. I'll even show you a couple of tips while I'm coloring, so you guys can have fun with me together. So put on some music, although I will be putting on music as well during this video. Figured that out a couple months ago, so that's helped a little bit. So stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy this video and just coloring along with me. And I will show you guys how many color pencils. There is a lot of color pencils. I took them out of the box just because they're a little easier. I will have a case for them soon. I actually will be buying one probably this week, but there is five. Yeah, five trays full of color pencils, so there's a lot to choose from, a lot of fun colors, but I'm just going to go ahead and put those to the side, and I'll show you a couple different ways you can use these color pencils, just to show you guys what there is out there and share with you. So I'm going to show you, this is my color chart, I always make a color chart for every single media that I have now, it just makes it a lot easier, I don't have to have... A separate piece of paper to figure out okay what color do I need next so this is perfect for that I have forgotten to put the names on here and I think my pencils have gotten a little mixed up but it's pretty close to what it needs to be okay so I'm guessing we're pretty much going to be using just mainly greens and browns and maybe some blue for the background maybe not the background we'll see so I'm probably going to be doing the roots of the tree so we're gonna go in with browns to begin with and I like these browns right here there's a couple browns down here but I don't particularly like those so we're just gonna go in here and use those colors um, but what I did here here's a tip if you have multiple trays like I do I put a space in between each tray so I know this is tray one this is tray two after the blank space this is tra tray three after that blank space so I left a blank space on purpose to know where my color pencils are so I know that my browns are in my second tray so I can just go into my second tray right here and go ahead and pick the browns that I want to use and then I just count like which which browns do I want to use I'm kind of liking the like the more um, not these browns, but more like the lighter colored browns. I think those will go well with like the olive colored leaves and stuff. So we'll go ahead and work with those. So let's see. So I'm going to be using burnt umber and probably this color. So one, two, three, four. 
liner that I'll be using. Let's see what this one is. Raw umber. So they're both umber, but one's burnt and one's raw. So one's a little bit darker than the other. And I want to show you two different techniques that you can use with watercolor pencils. I also have my brushes here, which I will be using um, as well. There are three different ways, actually, that you can use watercolor pencils. You can use them just as regular colored pencils. You don't have to add any water or anything, and you can just leave it the way it is. But specifically, these are for watercolors, so what you can do is, I want to go in with a lighter color first. You can either add your color down first, and you don't have to worry about lines that much because once you add water, these are such nice watercolor pencils that most of the lines will completely be gone. So I am going to go in and color in these in light color. I think this is a beautiful picture. Kind of wanted to do something a bit naturey today. God must have known that. <laughs> Actually, pointed me right to this. But yeah, this is the first way you can do is you can just color with them, and that's all you have to do. Let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing, just a little bit more clearly here. There, that's better. So that's the first step, is you can just color, and that's all you have to do. If you feel like having colored pencils that day, then just color. That's, that's all there is to it. You don't have to add water if you don't want to. You can just have it be a colored pencil. I'm just going to go in and do all of the edges of the stems here. So this is one way where you put your color down and then you can go in with your paintbrush and water, which I have my cup of water right here, and you can go in, wet it, and just go over the color that you put down. And it is going to be a tad darker than what you initially painted. It's not going to be a whole lot darker, but it is going to be a little bit darker once you add the water. And you shouldn't have to add a lot of water. It activates very quickly. And you don't want to have a lot of water either because it's going to start um, to go outside the lines. And even if it does, you can always fix that as well. Probably should actually start it on this side because I am a lefty. That was a mistake, but that's okay. I just don't want to get my hand wet from the paint. Or the pencils. Because <laughs> it does activate like a watercolor paint. But yeah, my friend actually ordered this set online, and when she got them, she actually ex they sent her two sets by accident, and they told her to keep the other set instead of returning them, and she blessed me with them, because she knows I like Bible journaling and painting and coloring, and um, I was doing a class at our church for the ladies, so that's always nice.
and one last branch. So you can tell a little bit of the difference. This one's lighter than the rest of them, and that's due to the water, the water activating the colored pencil to create a little bit darker of a look, which is nice because I realized that some watercolor pencils, I had a cheaper set, just a few pencils, and they seem to have gotten lighter when you added the water. So I love that this one creates a little bit of a darker color when you're done. Okay, so that's one way that you can activate your colored pencils. I'm gonna show you the best way to do it. And I'm gonna use the same color because it may show up a little bit darker. What you can do is you can dip your paintbrush in water like I just did, and you are going to wipe your paintbrush on the pencil like that. Just brush it along the tip and you are going to get some color on that tip. And it may be a little bit darker than your regular color, which actually looks about the same. It's a little darker. So I'm going to use my um, darker brush, or sorry, darker pencil, and we're going to go in and do some highlights in just a little bit. I'm going to actually we're going to actually do this since it is a tad darker doing it this way I'm just gonna go up a little bit more I'm gonna show you guys it's pretty much the same color you can do it a little bit lighter if you wanted to but it's gonna be exactly the same color as if you colored this and colored pencil first and then added the water so this is the second way you can use watercolor brushes is you can just dip your paintbrush in water and then dip it onto the pencil and color in. So it works even more so like um, watercolors. I personally like to color first, but that's just a personal opinion to me. I, I don't know why, I, I enjoy coloring and I enjoy just going in with the water and doing that. So I'm just gonna go in a little bit. And I do kind of like how it's getting a little bit lighter up here, so. I think I'm going to continue just going with the lighter color. And blend just a little bit more into the darker color. So it doesn't look like one completely different color, but one a little bit better into it. There. Now since I'm getting into a little bit bigger section, I can switch to my bigger paintbrush. You can use any size paintbrush, it doesn't have to be small or anything. So I'm just going to go in and work on these bigger sections really quick. And you can put a piece of paper behind it. You don't necessarily have to with watercolors because they do they do dry fairly nicely. So I'm just gonna go in and color it. In. I actually like the lighter brown. I'm gonna stick with the lighter brown and do highlights with the darker brown. So I'm just gonna go up and continue this lighter brown color up into the up into the base of the tree. do is I'm going to do the same thing that I did at the bottom. I'm going to go in and do the lighter brown, but then do the tops of the trees as that darker, darker part that I did at the bottom. So that way it has kind of a shading effect. So yeah, if you use the brush and have a little bit more water, it is going to be a little bit lighter. You can um, color lighter as well. You don't have to rub super hard, but you don't want to rub hard with colored pencils anyways because um, you can always add extra layers you can't take away. So always start with lighter layers and you'll have a nice color. Okay, I think that's good. Good a little bit. Okay. So 
now I'm going to go in with the same color. I'm going to dry it off a little bit. Just my, my finger. I don't mind getting dirty a little bit. <laughs> and it always rubs off anyways. It's just watercolor. Okay. And I'm going to go in and color the branches. It is going to be a tad darker because it is still a little wet on the on the pencil itself. So I'm just going to go very lightly as lightly as I want into the branches right here. And since it is a little wet, it's feeling a tad more chalky. So I probably should have done this part first before I use the paintbrush. But it's okay. Still going to work just fine. dry you don't have to ever worry about that being being a problem and it's gonna go in and paint these spots I'm loving the shading. So this is one way that you can shade without like technically shading. Oops, sorry, I'm off camera. I'm sorry about that, guys. There we go. I'm coloring with you guys and technically not coloring with you guys because I'm off camera. But yeah, that's kind of one way that you can kind of like a, have like a, a fake shading effect is by just doing two different techniques or just coloring a little bit lighter and less pressure to get that lighter shade. Didn't realize how many leaves there were. This could be a long video now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't think it'll be that long because I'm a pretty fast colorist. I just want to make sure I don't miss any branches because then I'll have to go back in and color those. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I really do enjoy just relaxing and coloring with you all. It's just a nice relaxing way. I don't have to really think about anything and it's just it's very enjoyable just to relax and color in God's work. Just to spend time with him and with all of you. It's very nice and relaxing. And I think I got all the branches colored in the top. So I'm gonna go in with my paintbrush and wet the parts that I need to do. I'm gonna start over here because that's where I started. Try to blend it into the lighter color just to make sure they all blend nicely together. This video may be coming up a little late because I try to film a lot of videos in advance, but been so hot this summer that I've been filming like on the day I'm supposed to put this up so technically I will be coloring with you guys on the same day you guys see this probably but that is okay God helps me make all my videos right on time I'm never late with my videos they're always they're always um, published on the exact day I'm gonna say I film so I want to show you guys something about this brown is before you go over it with water it almost has like um like it's almost more of like a very pale chocolate brown but when you go in with this it's more of the the umber golden color so it's pretty interesting so you get like a lot of different colors out of one color pencil If you guys noticed, I missed a spot. And then go up here. <laughs> there, okay. 
Then mix this back now. Okay, so we're almost done with the branches here. Really like how it's turning out. I love the the darker color. I was gonna do almost one color or do two do two different colors, but I'm actually really liking just the one color. But I may go in after it dries and add a few highlights into it just to make it stand out a little bit more than that. So we're done with the branches. Let me see if it's dry down here. It is dry down here, so I can go in and do highlights if I wanted to, which I may end up doing a little bit with the darker um, burnt umber. So let me go in and see what happens. It's gonna, may actually be almost the same color. Let me go in with my, my paintbrush and see if it's almost the same color. Cause it is almost the same color, it's just a tad darker. And I might go up and just do a couple highlights up here. Just to outline the tree a little bit. It doesn't really add too much color, but maybe just to add a little a little bit different color in there as well. I don't know, I'm actually kind of liking the way I had it beforehand. I might as well do the whole bottom this way and not worry about the top that way, so I'll just continue doing a little bit of the color. There, just a little bit extra color. Didn't really add anything to it, but now we know. That really wasn't too much of a difference, and I'm sure it would be if I added more color, but not going to worry about that. Okay. Let's try to find the green set. Oops, upside down. Never read a coloring chart upside down. So I was thinking third tray down. So we got to go to third tray down. Sorry about the glare on the paper. I apologize for that. And then do some of these really pretty um, greens in here. So I'm probably going to do one and three. Just to have those little bit darker colors. So I'm going to be using, it looks like, olive green and jungle green. So olive green is a little bit of a lighter color, so I'm just going to start with that really quick. And I'm going to go in, I'm just going to be doing every other leaf or so, just to get a, a different shading effect. So we're going to go in and do every other leaf that color, and then go in and do the other color for the other leaf. doing leaves. They're just, they're so pretty and so colorful. I could have done a fall tree, but I kind of just wanted to do a little bit of a kind of a summery looking tree. Just making sure I get every other leaf, or try to get every other leaf. I forgot to put back my other pencil. Never forget to do that. And I was trying to put back my pencil. Whatever I can, just to make sure it doesn't lose its spot. There we go. too much of a difference with the colored leaves, but there's a tad bit of a difference. Like one's more olive color and one's definitely more of a, 
of an emerald color. You can just use, use colored pencils if you wanted to, or just leave them non wet. But I kind of wanted them all to be a little bit wet colored. And my, my colors may be mixing a little bit because they can go in just to do the darker color and lighter color, but I'm okay with that. Because that's just, it'll have a little bit of a shading effect to it. enjoying this picture. I think it's my favorite coloring picture I've done so far in this book. I've only done a few, but I'm very much enjoying doing this one with you guys. There we go. Leaves always take the longest. <laughs> So what color tree do you guys enjoy coloring? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys enjoy doing like more summery, like what I'm doing, or do you guys enjoy doing fall leaves or even winter um, trees where they're, where they're blank and just really beautiful with the snow coming down on them? I kind of want to do a picture like that at some point as well. Maybe even for this channel we'll do something together. trees pretty much all year round. I just, I love trees. They're probably one of my most favorite things God's created besides animals. <laughs> Can you tell I always get a little bit less talkative when I'm doing a smaller area? <laughs> That's just me, though. I always like to make sure I don't miss anything. Because if you miss a leaf, you're like, you'll see it like a week later and you'll be like, I thought I colored all those leaves. It's happened to me before. Oh, 
know if I colored those leaves already in the bottom, but it's always good to go back in just in case. This was actually my very first journaling Bible. I got it probably a few years ago, but I didn't really do a lot in it until I just recently got into Bible journaling. But I do, I do recommend this one, it's really nice. I'll always put everything that I use down in the, in the description box in case you guys want to check it out and you don't have to like go hunting and searching to find it. And you don't have to do what I'm doing where you switch back and forth between the colored pencils and the water. It just gives my hand a little bit of a break from coloring and I can switch instruments so my hand isn't cramping or anything from coloring. Because my, my hand does cramp up after a while with coloring. I probably am holding pencils too tight, but I've always been kind of a person to hold my pencils extremely tight when they're coloring. 